Hi everyone, it's Dr. Bailuni from Anara Health and I'm here today with our rock star of the month, Anne. Uh, Anne has had an amazing journey with us. She's been with us now here for about nine months and she's going to tell you more about her, her story. Um, so tell us what, what brought you to Anara in the first place. I was basically just sick and tired of not being able to lose weight. I would lose the same five to ten pounds but after that, it would just keep fluctuating between those five and 10 pounds. Um, so when I called Anara, I didn't realize that, you know, it would actually change my health for the better. Uh, we start focusing on what uh, my issues were. Um, I haven't really talked about this, but I have uh, chronic kidney disease and that's what we kind of pinpointed on our journey here. Uh, so far, I've lost um, about 28 pounds, but since the beginning of my journey, um, I've lost about 43 pounds wow. before I got here. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's amazing. So you've lost over about 25% of your weight. Mm -hmm. um, so you started off with us. What, what program did you do? Why do you think it was effective? Uh, what uh, we did was we went to, with the stepwise or the gradual program. Since I was going on vacation, you said that would be a good starting point. And since I was so successful on that program, um, two months in, we just kept going with the gradual program. All right, great. and. And how much did you lose on the more personalized gradual program? From the beginning, probably the first month, I lost like 15 pounds, um, which does might not seem a lot, but for my height and body size, it was significant because my friends and family noticed it right away. Yeah, that's about 10%, so that's <laughs> a lot of weight for anybody. Yeah. Why do you think that program was effective for you? That program was probably effective for me just because it taught me how to eat correctly. I didn't realize that I didn't know what healthy eating was until I was on that program. My idea was health, of healthy eating was not really that healthy. <laughs> okay, and so what, what, well, let's, let's take some examples. Um, give us what you're eating for breakfast before Anara and then after Anara. Uh, for breakfast before, before Anara, I would have um, a piece of toast with peanut butter, um, <laughs> Uh, biscuits, <laughs> any like you know, biscuit sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, what I thought was healthy was like you know, like a, a egg biscuit sandwich. But you know, that biscuit part wasn't very healthy. For lunch, I would have salads, but we drenched in dressing and had a lot of croutons. Uh, for dinner, it could be you know, a range of pizza, fried chicken. <laughs> Uh, for me, it would be healthy. It would be like, you know, roast chicken, roasted chicken, but then I would have a side of like french fries mm -hmm. or two. <laughs> so do you think the, the personalized program sort of taught you the nuances of these small little add-ons here and there and what big difference they make? Yes. And so the personalized program allowed you to make like very small changes, mm -hmm. but, but were really effective. Yeah. That is that is awesome. And then, um, you know, you had great results at the three month mark with the more personalized program. I think your cholesterol had dropped 30% with your bad cholesterol dropping a whopping 35%. So that's a, that's a huge drop that's, that's better than a statin medication. Do you switch gears at that point? Do you want to tell the readers what, what you switched to at the three month mark and how you've done then? At that point, I probably had taken out a lot of the bad things out of my diet. Um, and also added in a lot more exercise. But I feel like diet was the main reason why my cholesterol dropped. Um, Danielle really customized the plan so that, you know, when she thought that cholesterol might be an issue, she put me on the heart healthy um, program. So that actually, she would eliminate like egg yolks. I didn't think that was an issue, um, but I would eat a lot of eggs every single day and she limited me to like one or two egg yolks a week. Mm -hmm. um, just little changes like that. Yeah, what other changes sort of help bring those cholesterol down? Any new foods that you've been eating? Any new foods? Um, I enjoy Brussels sprouts now. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and I use a lot less olive oil to uh, roast them in the oven. <laughs> Perfect. And what about stuff uh, like any carbs in your diet? I do have carbs. I don't eat uh, brown rice or jasmine rice. I, I have um, complex carbs like quinoa, farro, and barley. Perfect. Um, I stayed away from bread for the first couple months thinking that bread was bad, but I found that sprouted whole wheat bread was actually pretty good. Perfect. So your, your farro and your wheat <laughs> berries definitely help bring the cholesterol down. So those, those are key elements that we added there to, to help with that part. And then tell the readers now you you are you work out pretty hard probably more so than <laughs> I do. Um, 
and, and the average person. Can you tell our viewers more about um, your workouts and what that routine entails? So I've always worked out. I just didn't realize how much diet would affect it. As soon as I started Anara, I worked out even more. So I started my workout in the mornings just so that I can start off the day right. And then I would work out after work um, just so I can get all this energy out. And um, I can see how the program uh, makes my workout better. Like my muscle definition definitely shows. Yeah. Um, so. And I mean, something for <laughs> the viewers to know that I think is worth pointing out is your weight loss, those 26 to 28 pounds were almost completely all fat. Like yes. you, you did not lose an ounce of muscle yeah. and that's largely because of your, your workout regimen. Mm -hmm. um, and that's very hard to do. What is your workout? I usually do a little bit of cardio. I'll run a couple miles a day. I know it's not, um, not everyone can do that. So how I started to get on that path was I actually walked at inclines um, for a few miles and then I started running. Um, and then at night I do a lot of weightlifting and weight training. I do a lot of deadlifts, a lot of squats, uh, weighted squats, lunges. So you've, so. Re you've really earned your results. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's, the, well, that's what I want to see, so that's great. Um, Tell us about how we adjusted your plan uh, midway or at six month mark to sort of uh, help with your blood pressure um, and what that entailed and, and what you're doing right now. Um, at the halfway mark, I think that's when you actually integrated the intermittent fasting, which I thought was really crazy at first, but it actually helped you. You actually explained that it would help rest my organs and it did kickstart my weight loss because I felt like it kind of plateaued. It didn't plateau, I was still losing weight but not as quickly as I wanted to. Um, so when once we added in the intermittent fasting, I got pretty fast to my um, goal weights and my blood pressure lowered. Perfect, so I think your blood pressure dropped actually by 15 and 20%. Yeah. So again, great health <laughs> results um, and that's what we like to do here. Um, can you tell people what intermittent, fa intermittent fasting means something different to everyone? What were you specifically doing? Um, so when I started intermittent fasting, when I heard that word, I was like fasting, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't eat the whole entire day. Um, but with you and Danielle, you said actually you're allowed between, you know, 500 calories. When I spoke with Danielle, she said actually for your height and size, we should do about 425 calories. Um, just thinking about the amount of food that I could have in one day, it was, to me, it was very little to what I was eating before. Um, but when Danielle said that we can split that up into two meals, it made it easier. So um, with the intermittent fasting, I can go um, about 12 to 14 hours without eating. So I'll try to skip breakfast and lunch and try to have um, like two smaller meals for dinner. Okay, um, and how many days a week are you doing that? Um, we started with two days a week. Uh, right now we're about at one day. Okay, and yeah. so the rest of the days, what are you eating? For breakfast, I usually do a quarter avocado, uh, egg whites, um, what else did I put on top of there? I added nutritional yeast, because okay. that's one of the things I saw as an option. That was actually pretty tasty. Um, for lunch, I do a pretty big salad, um, low calorie soup, and then for dinner, I usually do chicken and a side of um, steamed vegetables. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so, um, so intermittent fasting, or in this case, alternate day fasting, means you usually for two, uh, anywhere between one to three days a week, you're knocking down your calories to about a fourth of your needs. Um, and the goal, again, is to really rest your organs, and in your case, it really helps. Uh, drop your blood pressure. Do you do anything uh, special dietary wise on those fasting days? I stick to mainly like vegetarian dishes. Perfect. So that really helps with blood pressure. So there's great studies about that. If you can lower your animal protein throughout the week, you can really drop your blood pressure. And in this case, uh, because it's only one or two days a week, it's a very easy way to do that. Awesome. What is your favorite thing about Anara? The program itself is pretty amazing because someone can actually do this by themselves without relying on shakes and pills. That's what I like. I didn't like, you know, other programs where they had meal replacements. So I never gave, you know, a second thought to any other program. Once I found Anara, I know this was it and I committed to it. So, um, so the focus on real food, the focus on real food. All right. Yep. Perfect. 
Um, all right, well, that wraps it up, guys. So this is Ann Tran. She is our rock star for this month, and she has lost about 15% of her weight with us, uh, dropped her cholesterol by 30%, dropped her blood pressure by about 20%. So obviously, uh, these, these are health outcomes that can uh, last for life as long as we keep the weight off. Um, and that's what we're trying to do here. Um, so thank you. Thank you.